you doing this maniacs? I'm here at the beautiful Kellogoski Disc Golf Park, which is the second nearest course to where I live. And I'm here to show you what's in my bag. As Disc Mania has come out with all the four new models they would this year, um, I'm pretty confident that this is gonna be the final setup, at least for this year. We'll see what next year brings. So let's get to it. Start with the putting putters. I have the P1X in stiff P line plastic. This is the one I used before also, but this year I made the change to the stiff plastic because I feel it gives me the most consistent release and um, there's nothing that changes uh, on with the grip with the disc, so it's all on me if I screw up. So, really reliable putting putter, but this is for putting only. The slick plastic takes away so much of uh, spin on any throws that you can't throw this at all. Then, four putters. The P1X in X line is my uh, tunnel shot disc for shot ranges. Uh, it's the concave top one, and you know this from my previous in the bag video too. It's still in there. So, mostly only for shorter tunnel shots that have zero fade and any kind of short approaches that I need to really touch it in there and have it land flat and don't skip around. Then one new addition for this year, the just released P3X S line plastic. Um, really clicked quickly with this one. I feel like it's like a better version of the S line P2, so re replace that in my bag already. It's got a flat profile, a little bit stiff plastic, so it gives you very consistent release. The bead doesn't bother me at all. It's comfortable in the grip, both forehand or hand back. I can flick this some no, much better than the s line P2 and it gives me good distance and actually it's not that overstable but my favorite throw with it is a big analyzer and I can get to almost mid-range distances with it. The old trusty workhorse, you remember the P-Line MV3, this is my tunnel shot disc for uh, more distance than the putter range gives me. This has also zero fade, so I can, when I hit that line, a little bit of anhydrate pops up and it just goes straight and never fade, it gets off the line. So that's pretty much all that I do with this. Then, old workers also, and this is much more uh, multi purpose disc. So the first run, uh, European Open Glow C Line MD. Uh, CM MD3. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, it's been in the bag since it came out, and you can see it's really beat up, but it's still very usable for a number of lines. So I like to throw anhyzers with this, uh, both backhand and forehand. I think my most important throw with this is a get out of jail uh, forehand anhyzer when I can't get into a position to throw backhand. One of my friends also once said that if somebody took away that shot, the get out of, out of jail uh, flick anhyzer, um, he says I'd be in much trouble and I gotta agree with him. So this is great uh, middle stability do it all disc. Really like it. It's in the back. Very long time already. Then new addition for this year, the C line MD4. It's a touch more stable than the MD3, but it's still not an overstable hog that could only do one thing. So I can use this for a number of things if I just get the angle and power right. I can even throw big anhyzers with it, given enough angle. Uh, I can throw straight shots if I keep it low and just a little bit of anhyzer to start with. Uh, it's good for approaches and everything. 
Um, this is kind of the big brother of the S-Line uh, V3X, so it's also overstable, but not uh, uh, super overstable, and I can do a lot of things with this. This only has a little bit more range, so if I'm doing short approaches, I'll nowadays go more to the S-Line uh, P3X, because I used to overshoot the basket a lot of times with this, because it's got surprisingly good glide. Then one more mid-range, um, the Justice. It's the only non-Innova, non-disc mini disc still in my bag. I took it out to try if I could make it. I can use the MD4 only, but I felt that in certain situations when I just want the disc to knife into the ground as soon as it can, um, I can't really make do without this. So this is like the Firebird stupid flat overstable, mega overstable uh, mid-range. So sometimes you just need something like this. Great disc, very dependable, but it's pretty much one trick pony, but it does that trick so well. Then on to fairway drivers. Uh, nothing new in this section, so the second line, uh, second run FD, flat and stiff and uh, fairly stable. Uh, I use this for uh, high power uh, flat shots, maybe just a little small S curve to get where I'm going, especially if it's windy, I can press this to do that shot. Also uh, very much uh, flick anhyzers with it, uh, sometimes I had anhyzers too, but it's got so much stability that I got, got to boot it on a pretty steep angle to get it to go right. Then uh, the big brother for that disc, the first run, uh, C-Line FD2. This has got a little bit more fade than the second run FD, so I also throw flick uh, anhyzers with this, but you need to give it a lot of angle if you want to land flat. But of course, sometimes I would want it to S curve out of that and have them fade also at the end. Very dependable disc, also backhand um, straight shots that have good fade at the end, like a mini firebird, also very rangeable. Also. Um, big hyzer bombs that I know are gonna travel the exact amount of distance that I always know it does. In point, accuracy. One more, the old trusty FAF Firebird. The only knows one thing to get to the ground as fast as it can. Of course, you can prolong that time by giving it a hefty angle and then escape a bit. Also, skip shots, all kinds of circus fun. So, very trustworthy spin in the back for a long one. Then, the distance drivers, probably my longest disc, uh, the S Line CD2. If I get it right, it's sneaky long sometimes. I can um, get really good distance out of it. It's got great stability right in the middle spot where you can uh, do nice hand hazards with it, but also straight shots with a little bit of action on it to get the extra distance. I really hope they will come out with a stock run of this. Two more. Um, new addition for this year, it's been in the bag for quite a long time already, so the C line. Uh, CD3. Um, this is uh, competing with the longest disc. It probably on a certain line. I started with a good bit of Anheuser and let it the way. Uh, it's probably my longest disc uh, with the CD2. But it's got a little bit more stability than the CD2, and uh, really liking it. My maximum distance driver. Then you can have one stable guy in there also. So I put the C line PD back in the bag. So this is new ed edition for this year. I hadn't been throwing the PD for a while too much, but uh, I was looking for a stable driver that wouldn't be a mid. This the one that I can use and trust in in a headwind situation, or you get um, a good bit of distance forward and then fade to the basket. So it's kind of like the FD2, but this is a little bit longer. So really uh, clicking with this. 
this year. Well, that's all of them. Let's go. So a quick recap of the new discs this year. New plastic for putting, stiff P-line, P1X. New disc, S-line P3X. New disc, um, MP4. New disc, CD3. And also a new mold in my bag, PD. So basically I've put all the new molds that this media came up with uh, this year in the bag except the TDX. I'm still uh, learning it and trying it out for different situations, but it's not made the bag yet. So let's see if it makes the bag next year. So the bag itself, I carry a, uh, I believe, a A13, A14. Uh, model of the Grip EQ bag, uh, so I've had it for I think four years already, but I can't really tell because it doesn't show on the bag at all. Just normal wear and tear, a little bit here and there, but it's still in pristine condition. So, um, you gotta customize your bag. So, I got all kinds of cool little trinkets, PDGA uh, tags, you know, a kitchen. Uh, just got new uh, zipper floors, there's patches all around, here and there, birdie beads, more patches, gotta have water, gotta have some snacks, uh, I don't usually pay play for bag tags, but this is a really cool one, it's the uh, frisbee golf product .fi, so go there to check out all the over 600 courses we have in Finland at the moment. Gotta have a towel. Really liking this Innova microfiber one. Gotta have minis, at least a couple of them because I lose them so often so easily. Got some Ismania bands. Gotta have Painkillers for whenever you get a headache in the middle of the round. This is important. Make sure you have the official rules of uh, this call PDJ with you. You can always Google them on your phone too if you have battery left in your phone. But in any situations you come up with, you gotta know what you're talking about. Or if you're uncertain, then always throw a provisional and then take it up to the TD. But don't make stupid mistakes with the rules because it's all in there. Then of course uh, a whole lot of pens, and markers, sharpies, um, mark your discs and scores. Pencil is always great option. You won't smear even if it gets a little bit. Good. So there you go, that's what's in my bag.